Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you all the upgrade that has been done to this machine here. This is the Omtech 50 Walt laser. So we'll go we'll look from outside. Some of the upgrade I did is a water chiller, a 5200 industrial Omtech water chiller, um, an air compressor. Uh, this is California 8 gallon air compressor. Of course, I have the chuck. This is the special one that works with the CO2 laser. I have a video about all these how installation, all the stuff from outside. A uh, couple things I upgrade. I designed these and actually so you can open the doors, not using a key. Basically, it works like this. Let me show you guys. Uh, twist it back and forth, so you don't need no more using a key only one of them right now i don't have one of these on it the one in the back small door which is okay uh, inside right now i'm actually using i have my rotary uh, this is i was trying out for a cup you know i still use this for just flat cups because i have one cup that i make a lot of you know stuff with it that i always use this guy but most of the time i use this because i don't have to calculate anything um, let me just push this back, guy. Uh, a magnet, basically this guy here. Let me turn the machine on, just so I can have some lighting. So, a magnet here that I can put this guy against, basically a flat. Same thing here. I use these two magnets, big magnets, is for the uh, honeycomb. Of course, I added a light in here just to light up the whole bed. I added an air assist. Again, uh, I'm still using my manufacturing old air assist. Uh, this is just, just to have air a little bit and uh, just to make sure the lens does not get clean or smoke does not go on that lens. But of course, when I use the cut, the other air will turn on and you'll see a lot. I can maybe probably do it right now to show you here. You see the noise? I push about 20 psi, something like that, through this guy here. I can control it actually with this guy here. I already have a video of how to install this guy. From inside, I did make actually my focus uh, from wood, just a you know, backup one with two magnets. I can just go over here so I will never lose it. Uh, I do have a control that shows me how many amp, milliamp. Now, of course, when you're engraving, it's not going to show a lot, but you don't use a lot of power engraving, mostly for cutting, but it is accurate for cutting. I actually was using a lot of power until I reduced it down. I, I upgraded the meters. I got the copper uh, gold-plated meters on this machine. Um, so that kind of reduced some of my use of power because I have more power coming in right now through, so I don't need to use a lot of power. And the alignment very important when you do an alignment it will improve a lot okay uh, let me see from inside what else we did uh, of course I got magnets just to hold stuff away uh, camera I added a, uh, just the camera so I can use light burn basically I added the camera is somewhere in here so when you open it it's gonna go something like this down and when I close it so even the look when you close it, it's going to still show me the bed you know what I'm doing, okay? So it's the benefit of the camera. Take a video picture like that, and when I close the door, it becomes this angle, I can still see what's happening. I use the team, uh, team viewer on my laptop, so I can control it from my laptop, from my phone. If anything happen, I can turn off the, stop the machine or something like that. Uh, I think from outside, uh, that's it. Let's go in the back. Just let me show you something in the back. In the back, so hold the whole machine get removed and put back again. So what I did actually, uh, I did this so you can see it. Uh, this is where is the deck is all the way in the wall. So when I when I be able to remove it, you know, I, if I have a pass through, I'll just remove this guy. And I put the material through here and come like goes out that, that way. So let me show you the back portion of it. Before we go in the back, I did actually, you know, uh, 
This for, for the wire. This is where I got my wire actually for the light burn. It's a USB cable basically. So if the I made a hole here, and I have a plastic piece that so will not cut. And the upgrade I did, you know, I do use this guy here. A lot of people said uh, they're cheap plug. They're not cheap plug. I use this guy again. This is on your own risk. <laughs> I use it. See how I said this is on your own risk. I use it for my actually water chiller. What I bought, I bought this guy here is a big, actually a 90 adapter that I can hook up a wire because that way I don't pinch my wire. Okay, so I don't pinch my wire, my wire is straight. Let me show you in the back where I did. So here, going on back, again, you can see all my doors. Again, they have this guy here that you unlock, you open up. Okay, this little thing I did. I don't use the key except this guy. I haven't did it. I'll do it later. But here is what I was talking about. This guy will go in the hole in the wall that goes out on the other side. So it is removable. Basically, I can pull back it in. Uh, water chiller, like I said, is hooked up. And my contraption of the air assist. Basically, this is... I had a gauge here, I removed it because I don't need it, so this guy will not hit the wall when I push it. This is the solenoid that kicks the air assist on and off. Okay, and then air comes in from the compressor to this guy. Of course, I can turn it off from here and here, or I can go from there, or I can cut the you know pressure here. I can do a lot of stuff in here, okay? Uh, water chiller, air compressor setup. And here, this is actually where I hooked this guy to this solenoid. Uh, let me see. Let me think about something else. That's it. The table. Uh, let me know if you have questions or you need anything. Maybe I can explain to you guys. Here's some of the stuff. Basically, again, the wiring. Everything in here is still organized. Nothing crazy. I don't move nothing. I have videos, actually, of everything. I did. Uh, I hope you like this video. Let me know. One more thing I forgot. I put this piece of wood here again. Like I said, this is for a protector. I don't want my machine to hit anywhere. Plus, I have this here. The main the main reason I had these two woods, one here, one here, it was not to pinch. Actually, my uh, water my water system that goes in and out. And actually, I changed those. The old one that came in with the machine, they were straight, so I made a 90, so I, the holes will not pinch. I changed this one and the one that come from the machine. So I have straight water and a 90 here, so nothing get pinched. And that's it. I think that's the thing I did. You go in the front, just double check. Again, that's the look of it on the front. My air tank actually is sitting inside my table. So if I move the table, everything moves with it. That's the good thing. And one more thing I forgot, actually, I put them here right now. I did upgrade my lens. I got, I'm using a 1.5 inch lens right now. And I got myself an actually safety laser glasses. I do recommend it to everybody to get those laser. I got the clear one, not the cloudy one. Just for the heck of it, I can... So I don't keep, keep taking them off and on when I'm working. I just leave them on. And uh, let's see. Other than that, I think I'm good. Again, light, uh, camera. Again, I'm sorry, guys. Take this so long. If you guys have any, any questions or something, let me know. I hope you like this video and have a nice day.